trying to get some insights from uh, Lando here and Mrs. Elorde regarding the fight itself. Now, mainly, Laura, I know that uh, a lot of people are wondering how you were able to convince Chang Ho Choi to fight here in Manila. Uh, originally, Chang Ho Choi was offered uh, a return bout with Dodi Peñalosa. And uh, at the same time, we also offered a fight for him here in the Philippines with Rolando Bohol. Um, but uh, they would rather fight in, in November. Uh, Rolando Bohol versus Chang Ho Choi in Los Angeles of 1987. So everything was set for that date. But uh, about the time that I was about to leave, there was a, a telegram from the, uh, from the manager of Chang Ho Choi, and they wanted to replace Rolando Bohol with Medal. Because according to his telegram, two Asians fighting together would mean a loss in the States. Mm -hmm. So he asked to be excused and to substitute Medal for Rolando Bohol. And we refused because we knew then that the uh, crown would go further and further away from us. So uh, we offered them to stage it in the Philippines instead. And, but they gave us only December, that means only three weeks to prepare, and uh, it was really impossible. But finally, we were able to convince them to hold it in uh, January 16. And, uh, that's how the fight got here. Yes, this, this fight did undergo a number of postponements, didn't it? That's why I was beginning to worry about Bohol getting a little overripe for the fight itself. Huh? We were scared about his condition also. Because, you know, a boxer, when he has been uh, conditioned already, it's very hard to postpone the fight. You should know, Lara, you slept with a champion boxer for so many years. <laughs> anyway, the champion boxer I'm referring to also happens to be the very same man who handled personally the training of this boy during the early years of his fighting career.